A very good evening to one and all present and welcome to a brand new episode of Express with Peace. This is a series that is very close to our heart where on a weekly basis we are joined by a set of bright young student panelists and we round them up to discuss contemporary topics uh, that may be national or uh, global issues at that point of time or just understand the youth's perspective on very important pressing concerns concerning their lives. I think today is one such day where we are discussing a very important topic. I think all of us when we were making that leap from 10th standard to 11th standard we all have undergone this pressure in some measure or the other. The big mood question in our lives then what stream do you take? Do you take arts? Do you take uh, you know science? Do you take commerce? Even with the within these streams like for example if you're in commerce or arts then you know that pressure whether you should take math or if you should not take math probably opt for legal studies or history it's a very big decision and definitely definitely there's a lot of stress that is created around it now in traditionally in india it is always considered that if a student is bright then they must definitely take the science stream earlier on i remember when i was in school it was looked down upon that you know if a bright student would take up arts or commerce for some reason these were considered very inferior further there was also this very definite stereotype uh, stereotypical image that was attached to every stream and it was already defined by the environment and people around us that if you are in a particular stream then what are your career options well today things are changing you have the new education policy which has come into being where you're talking about you know a super flexible approach we're talking about a liberal curriculum it really seems like the world is the oyster for children after school in terms of you know all the opportunities that are open to open to them so this is what we're going to discuss today understand from the youth what they feel about you know what stream to choose what are the parameters that they have in their mind while they're making this decision what are the other external pressure points that they face how they are coping with it and i don't think that i could have a better panel than this because these are four students who have recently made that decision are currently studying in 11th grade so all of those memories are very fresh in their mind which they will be talking about today so joining me today i have the students from the amber international school thane maharashtra who are joining me we are joined by miss anshika singh uh ms riya chopra mr sarang mukherjee and mr shriram shrikant this evening thank you very much guys for taking out the time and joining us this evening i'm really looking forward to have this conversation with all four of you for all my viewers you know how this uh, how the format works we like to make this uh discussion very conversational in nature so whenever you have any question most of you have already discovered uh, discovered the chat box feature make sure you are asking us question there and i will make sure that i will integrate the same in my conversation with the students so without further ado let's begin you know this exciting conversation that we have lined up for all of you today so first i would actually invite some reflections from my student panelists that you know i would like to know what was the process each of you had deployed uh to choose the stream that you will be taking in grade 11 and 12 and what were the basically factors in your mind and how did you arrive at this decision so if we can first start with riya we if you can share your reflections with us yeah um so i think that uh, everyone has their own story and everyone has their own skill set where they excel at um as for me uh, since 8th standard actually i always knew that i wanted to go into humanities arts i uh, without any external pressure i always wanted to go into humanities my mind was set still in 10th standard my parents uh, naturally like everyone wanted me to take a step back and think about it again um if i wanted to go into such a risky subject and uh, yeah so they wanted me to take uh, science for 11th and 12th and then switch back into whatever i want to take whatever i want to major in for graduation but um, i said no because i was confident that this is where i excel this is where i belong i was very confident some students are not but my instinct was to take arts and not think about it at all and i i went for it 
Wonderful. Uh, that I think is a very honest uh, sort of sharing of a personal experience that has happened there, and I'm really glad to know that you didn't bend to all the pressure around you. Sarang, did you have a similar experience? How? What was your experience when you were choosing your stream? Because you're again, if I'm not mistaken, you're from commerce, right? So again, it would have been a little bit of a tough choice, I imagine. Uh, Sarang, you're on mute. If you may please unmute yourself. Um, I had a pretty funny story, to be honest. Um, actually, my brother he took up science, and I saw through all the like hard work he went through, and I was like. this i can't do this i can't do this much so i researched online on what the things of each streams provide so from there on onwards i looked into commerce and i saw what it had what all it had to offer and yeah i chose commerce because uh, in the end i liked what it was providing me so yeah fantastic so we also have uh, shriram here who uh, who has taken science so shriram let's hear from you um was it your first choice or um, you know you just ended up taking it because you wanted to keep your options open and how is your experience been i been with your peer groups that you see in the science stream have they all taken it by choice or is there some element of pressure that's involved uh yes so i'll uh, begin off with how i uh, ended up taking science uh so since it's grade i was uh, i was pretty interested in um you know in uh, becoming a doctor in in something like uh, medicine i believe that it is uh, something very uh, you know um another profession as everyone thinks about it so i was uh, i was pretty interested about it and i wanted to take it up so till 9th i was uh, rather uh, i was uh, you know i was rather interested in taking science but in 10th when i came to 10th i suddenly had uh, some doubts in my mind i suddenly started feeling uh, i suddenly started thinking that i have some more interests in humanities i have uh, passions in talking about uh, political science i have uh, other interests as well which i might want to explore um and i i was having some doubts i was definitely having some doubts but at the end of the day i gave it a thought i uh i i decided to uh, give all of my options uh, you know equal space i decided to think of think about everything i did some uh, research i even attended this uh, career counseling uh, uh, this workshop by a renowned uh, author and uh, i slowly uh, i slowly decided that uh, maybe science would be best because uh, i personally liked it i personally Uh, have had the idea of science since uh, when i was young and uh, i just i thought that it might be the best option for me at least till now and later on uh, in case i'm not uh, able to uh, cope with it or if i'm not able to think uh, that science is uh, you know science i am not finding interest in science after 12th as well uh, not like i don't find interest but then uh, i do have passions in other uh, stream as well so i will think about it later on but then for now i wanted to explore science so i took up science in 11 fantastic and, I, and I, uh, as for the as for the question about my peers i have actually seen a lot of people who uh, had uh, you know who who didn't want to take it up but then uh, they all said that they had gotten good marks in 10th and uh, they all ended up taking science just because of that uh, not just in the school but in other uh, in uh, from my previous school as well i have seen a lot of people like that so yes i have uh, seen a lot of peers uh, who did uh, who took science because of that exactly so that means clearly the trend that i was talking about does exist in some measure still that you know some students... yes it definitely exists it definitely exists right but i'm so happy to hear that you know in some way all three of you till now have been very clear about what you wanted to do and hence have chosen a stream i mean at least you know with the, like you know i can clearly see that you know riya stood up to the pressure uh sarang also was very clear after seeing his brother's experience that however great it may be but it's not meant for me and you well always harbored a passion to be a doctor and that's why it made sense for you to do it Anshika, do you you know do you uh, reflect like similarly as your co-panelists? What has your experience been while choosing a stream? I never had any kind of pressure on me from my parents, um, but 
I was always confused about what I wanted to take up because I I'm I get really confused because there are so many options. Yeah. So um, it was never science for me because I'm not good at maths. So, um, but then I was uh, confused between commerce and humanities. And normally, I often experienced people coming up and asking me, "What are you going to take? Science or commerce?" Arts wasn't even an option for them. They never even bothered to mention it. So I just thought, if I take arts, people might judge me. My own relatives came up to me and said. Um, you shouldn't be taking that uh, stream it's not exactly um, eligible for you so but then i ended up taking arts because that's where my interest lies and i really really like the stream and i'll continue to be in like Super. uh people do say pressure but it's okay uh, we can face them that's lovely that's a positive way to look at it so i remember when i was in school because well i took commerce you know there was this stereotype that was attached so uh, for some reason my school didn't even offer arts like it was only science and it was commerce um and while they were offering these two streams it was like you know you could make out this visible difference in the approach that the teachers and the school administration had that science ke bacche hain to you know these are all the academically inclined and the bright kids and basically the not so bright kids have taken commerce I want to know from you guys that does this stereotyping also still exist in schools today? So if we can first start with the commerce kid here, Sarang, let's start with you. Um, I don't think so. In today's schools or colleges, this this kind of approach is actually used because uh, nowadays we have a lot of options in each stream. Uh, like not only uh, science, leaving science, there are many more. high earning or as they say that people chase high earning jobs not only science but other streams have that as well so i don't think that same approach is uh, actually being pursued over in the colleges and the schools okay what about anshika and riya uh, do you feel differently or do you concur with sarang on his opinion actually i kind of um, i i do agree with sarang that yes um the procedures have changed uh, the schools have started evolving and they embrace arts and they have options but um it is not completely there yet because um when i was searching for colleges i wanted a specific um i, I wanted a specific number of subjects that i was interested in and many colleges didn't have them you know Uh, for example some colleges may have psychology some may have history others don't so there's still a lack of options for humanities students and uh, it is not completely there uh, and there is there are some schools that don't even have arts there are some schools still yeah so yeah yeah i completely hanji yeah i completely agree with her yeah um i was i was searching up colleges and like i didn't have any specific subjects in my mind but i was searching up colleges and the colleges near by me um which my parents preferred there weren't as many options not in um in thane there aren't as many options for uh, arts and i was just um, confused as to why uh, there wasn't like there was always science and commerce but not humanities so yeah i did face a lot of problems searching up colleges yeah <laughs> And what about you, Shriram? How do you feel about this? Let's hear from you. Uh, I the type that exists. I I personally feel that um, what Sarang said was extremely true, but uh, the stereotype still exists in several schools. Um, I don't think it exists in our school because uh, all the teachers are very welcoming, very uh, friendly with everyone. But uh, in in schools that are in rural areas uh, that have uh, that have not reached the uh, development as in urban areas and um, the the schools still have the stereotype i i'm i definitely have read a lot of articles about uh, you know online as well about uh, students uh, facing uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of discrimination among about from teachers partiality from teachers because they have chosen different stream so i do think that exists that um, we cannot really say that uh, the nowadays uh, the stereotype has completely vanished correct correct totally agree with you there 
now i'd like to know from you you know when we've been talking about this pressure obviously all of this pressure is coming from our home environment it's coming from our school environment because you know they are the major factors that play very important roles in you know our lives as students so according to you guys how can teachers and parents create an environment where students can freely choose what they want to um, study so we can first start with you shriram what do you think what what must be done by teachers schools and parents so that you know stu- students don't at least face pressure on account of them to make these choices okay so i personally feel that um, uh, first of all uh, the most important thing the students should be given is uh, the information about all streams the uh the schools and uh, as well as the parents uh, both uh, should take efforts to inform their children about uh, the three about whatever streams are there uh, in choice and about all the options and all the career options that they will have after uh, graduating from the stream and uh, so that they can make an informed decision because uh, after all this is going to be what, uh, what uh, they will have to do for the rest of their life because that's their career um so we wouldn't want them uh, uh, taking any ill informed decision secondly about the pressure from the teachers i think that uh, the best way uh, we can create a student friendly environment uh, as for the choice is that the teachers and parents need to understand that a student has to uh, you know have uh, their uh, has to ha- uh, has to have their heart in what they are going to do they are, they are they are going to have this career for the rest of their life or at least for the uh, you know for uh, whatever years they will be working and if if what they what they're doing is not of their interest if they don't have a passion in what they're doing their life will become miserable yeah and uh, we we definitely have to uh, think about that because the parents um, they will not go through what their uh, what their child is going through the teachers will also have to understand that the students need to have an interest in what they're going to uh, what they're going to pursue yeah so for that the teachers and the parents have to be understanding and have to be open for all options for the student and um, you know that is like understanding that basically will help will solve all the problems because okay. uh, because ultimately no one wants anyone uh, no one wants their students or their children to be unhappy right because they all want they all wish well for their uh, for their kids. absolutely everybody wants uh, you know their children and students to be happy that's uh, that's very like the, the, those are some very reasonable and practical insights anshika do you agree with shriram anything you'd like to add yeah i totally agree with him like he said that we need to be uh, explain about different streams and what they offer the because children even though how, no matter how rebellious teenagers can be i mean i know because we all are sometimes but then no matter how rebellious we are we are always uh, pressured in some way or the other by our parents or our teachers and there's this stereotype it's always there but uh, we need to be explained and uh, you know we need people to who can guide us and that's our parents and teachers their guidance shouldn't be uh, implied that no if we are guiding you you need to listen to us yeah. it should be our decision in the end because it's our lives and if we don't if we don't have interest in a subject we take up and then we are going to regret it so we won't be able to give our 100% in whatever work we do and that's you know giving your best is all anyone wants even your parents so yeah. they need to guide us and they need to let us decide then because it's and 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 the end of the day it's our lives and we have to live it correct absolutely agree with you riya you would like to add something and i think this is a very important point that both shriram and anshika made which is that information is key and good information would be very much required and very true it's required for both the stakeholders it's required for students also and parents as well because even parents need to be a little more updated about you know how each of the fields are evolving and what are the emerging opportunities to make right choices so riya over to you would you like to add something to what your co-panelists have already said so i i actually completely agree with shriram and anshika everyone should be given freedom to decide what is right for them so um and um what i would like to add is that parents and teachers should not discourage uh you know or uh, discourage the children or tell them to keep it safe 
um i think that everyone should explore their options fully they should read everything about every stream they want to they should decide what they want to do they should not take a stream just because it is conventional you know just because their parents want them to the pa- if the parents want their children to excel there lies the conflict of interest because science is uh, science may not be the stream that your child excels at if yeah. you want your child to excel you should let them choose the field that they want to that is how they will be successful and that is how they will be happy correct absolutely agree uh, i think happiness is key at the end of the day i think uh, you know as uh, parents we also need to realize that we need to stop imposing our dreams and aspirations on children uh once we start doing that and we start seeing them as different entities and different individuals i think that's when you know we'll make all the difference and i personally feel that you know there's a misnomer that exists in you know uh the adults today that you know young adults today do not possess like do they don't have enough responsibility and accountability but i don't think that's true because i've been interacting with students on a weekly basis and i think they're pretty reasonable uh i think that you know they have access to information but they also know how to filter out the information that's relevant to them so i think we need to give them a little more credit uh than we give them and uh, probably let them take this very important decision of their lives because i think if there's something that our generation uh or you know my parents generation has seen the fact that you know people can be very unhappy with their you know with their careers and a big example of that is the midlife crisis that people go through clearly that happens because people are quite unhappy with the choices they have made uh because most of the time those choices have just been imposed on them so i think we should learn from our mistakes and give you know young adults the cha- the chance to choose for themselves and to choose for their life saram what would you like to add anything that you feel that you know parents and teachers should do to make the environment more comfortable for choice making uh see uh, what we what they can do is like sit down and have a discussion with your ch- children about what their passions are what they what they see themselves doing after 20 30 years so because uh, then they will have kind of a rough idea of what they want to become or what they want to pursue because once they have a idea like suppose i want to become a musician i would look how to become a musician i will look what things i have to do to reach my goal so uh, we all have to, we all have different skill sets as riya said in the first point we all have different skill sets we all have our own passion so not everything can be done by everyone correct so, yeah. absolutely absolutely agree with you and before i close this very uh, interesting session we've had today i have to ask you these question because well uh, you guys all rep- represent the different streams that exist today so contrary to public uh, you know popular notion do you think that there is a limit limit of options that are available to students uh, you know who take commerce or arts so first if i may start with the commerce student here saram what do you think is there a limit in terms of the options and opportunities available to students uh i don't think so there is a limit uh, see uh, what subjects there there have been taught you can, you will obviously get the jobs uh, according to that so like in science there is pcb so you will become doctor because there is biology in it and there is physics and chemistry but in commerce you can become an accountant because you are learning accounts in that you can't learn a, a, an accountant by just studying uh, pcm you have to also study accounts in that so yeah what about you uh, dia what do you think do you think there is because you did mention that you felt that you know uh anshika also mentioned that she felt that there was some sort of restriction in the number of options that are available uh do you feel that the options are you know limited and it's probably not as endless in terms of how it is for a science student if um if it is about the number of the number of options uh, we have uh, as uh, career options then no we have plenty of options Sorry, I got dropped out. Go on, Priya. Yeah. So as I was saying, it's um, we have so many career options to choose from, but what I feel is limited and is lacking is the amount of guidance 
that the science and commerce students have. I mean, they have lots of guidance. They have coaching classes. We don't have that. I, uh, when I was studying for my exam, I had to hunt for videos for about 15 minutes uh, for uh, on YouTube to get a decent lecture uh, that of a topic I missed. You know, so I, I don't think that we have enough guidance, and we have to do. Uh, we have to study by ourselves without any help all the time. So uh, we don't have the guidance that science and commerce students have. So yeah, that's all. Anshika, thank you so much, Ria. Anshika, do you agree with that? Since you've had a similar yeah. experience while choosing colleges. Yeah, I completely do. Like it's, it's um, sometimes it gets annoying because the uh, amount of information and the uh, sources that they are really less. Uh, there aren't as many coaching uh, coaching classes for arts, and um, even if we took arts, people just uh, you know they think that arts is easy when it's really not, and it's just as hard as any other subject. And we also need coaching sometimes, just like science and commerce students do. We also need classes, but there aren't even any options available, at least not any that I've heard of. So yeah, it gets. Um, really annoying sometimes but then uh, again the problem is with the mentality because this whole stream just get left out like even in any conversation just as i mentioned earlier people just mention science and commerce like what did you take science or commerce the whole stream just gets left out and that shouldn't happen we should be uh, taught about even the parents the teachers everyone should know about that yeah there this another stream exists we also have a lot of work to do we also have aspirations and it's not just that we are dumb so we are in this um, stream we we are smart enough and we are smart enough to study about our history our uh, and uh, the political science and everything else so yeah and uh, with you yeah totally. yeah, yeah go on if i may add um not e there are no coaching classes no uh, no guidance and not even on uh, you know online coaching classes like coaching apps like Baiju's or an academy they have no guidance for arts or uh, when you're studying for 11 at least for 11th or even 12th they have very limited number of options and yeah, as you can arts, see yeah arts is not easy as Anshika said we would like to prove that arts is a subject that has a lot of theory in it and we also need guidance and we also need something to you know keep us moving, keep us studying, but we don't really have that option. I think that's very indicative of that uh, bias that exists in India that people don't want to talk about too much. They just want to comment about, but don't talk about the fact that, you know, and this is so true. I mean, why should a section of students uh, be, you know, not be privy to the guidance or counseling? or you know informational videos that the other two uh, streams tend to get so totally agree with you guys there i mean it's pretty unfortunate the way it pans out in our country now i'd like to come to sriram and i'm going to flip the question for him um so while you're doing science i'm sure there's also a lot of pressure on science students to only pursue uh, science related fields um so i'm sure you would have seen it with your seniors it's not very easy when you do 11th or 12th you know you're doing science for you to suddenly then say that hey you know i'm not doing this i want to do bba uh, because that's what i'm interested in uh, so how does one cope with that pressure what are your thoughts is it something that still exists today because i think that's also a pressure that most of the science students have to live with certainly uh, i mean that uh, that definitely exists and uh, I have actually, uh, I have seen so many people, uh, maybe not many who have actually, uh, actually parents tell that you can take science in 11th and you can uh, shift to uh, any other stream in 12th, uh, after 12th, if you don't like it. But then at the end of the day, if they shift to some other stream after 12th, they will again uh, come upon them and say, why did you take science in 11th if you ah, didn't want to go to it? No, engineering and then after that you can do it, no problem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and then and I have seen so many people end, uh, ending up taking engineering, spending the worst four years of their life um, writing papers, in the, uh, 30, 30 papers every month and everything. And uh, they end up regretting their entire uh, college life. And at the end of the day, um, after that, they have faced every single 
in their life that they have nothing to lose at this point they just tell their parents we don't want to do this and they get out and uh, pursue what they like and i don't think anyone has should go through all of that yeah i think everyone everyone deserves uh, to have a choice in what they want to do and i am again saying because because you have to be happy with what you're doing at the end of the day if you are not happy with it then you work is not going to be 100% your 100% and uh, that will not be good of course so, absolutely and and uh, and most of the people who uh, who um, even after that even after taking engineering without um, you know uh, under pressure and uh, then ending up with a job with a 9 to 5 job they again regret their entire cycle yeah. because they are not liking it the, the work life balance for them is bad and um, they regret whatever they did throughout their uh, education so i personally uh, i do not agree with the fact that uh, you know for keeping your options open you take science and uh, you can change it later that that doesn't work that doesn't work in their eyes Okay. and uh, also i would like to uh, point out something that riya said it's also so true because um, one of the optional subjects that i have taken is psychology and that is uh, that is actually a humanities subject i was trying to find some videos uh, and everything on um, uh, and we had a psychology exam today i was trying to find some videos about uh, the topics and everything yesterday and day before and uh, i uh, did not get any i did not get any of it i i uh, no we did not get any of those videos so yes i i can personally relate with what they said thank you so much shriram i think it's really sad and like i said very unfortunate that we don't have material a uh, very reflective yes. of the bias that exists in our society and i think that shouldn't yes. happen in the case of education um there should be no discrimination in the choices that we make and i think what you again said you know happiness is key at the end of it i mean you need to be doing what you're passionate about you need to be studying what you're genuinely interested in because you're absolutely right we have seen so many people who have been forced to go to engineering colleges they have been the worst four years of their lives they have lost their confidence because they have not been doing really well because they don't enjoy what they're studying they don't have a natural flair for it and i don't think anybody deserves that at times you know it becomes very extreme people turn suicidal um so i mean it's a truck loads of issues that you're bringing into somebody else's life so like i said i think it's high time that the stakeholders like teachers parents have to realize that we need to take a step back uh we need to essentially we need to create dialogue uh we need to understand yeah. that what are the dreams aspirations the passion of the child of the student according to that we should let them decide for themselves what they want to do our job is only to lay down the options before them and let them explore let them discover and let them figure out and introspect and you know finally zero in on a uh, zero in on an option that is ideal for them i think our only job is to open the doors for them and not to force them through a particular door because that can be more counterproductive than productive i think it's a wonderful conversation i've had with all four of you today and thank you so much for being so honest and candid about um, you know your experiences and your perspective and i also must say kudos to your school for you know really having a positive environment because i was at least very happy to hear that in your school none of you feel discriminated on the basis of the streams you have chosen so kudos to the school for that and also i'm really thankful to them for uh, making sure that you know we are connected to the students and we got all four of you on the panel today So thank you very much to the school authorities and the school coordinators for facilitating the same. Thank you very much everybody. Thank you my audience for joining us on a week on week basis. It is you know the fact that you guys join us in such large numbers that keeps our motivation going and uh, inspiring us to bring content to you on a weekly basis. We'll see you again on next Friday at 5 p.m. with another bright panel of students where we'll be discussing another contemporary topic close to their hearts. Thank you very much everybody stay safe bye bye Thank you for having us Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank you Glad you guys can make it bye bye <laughs>